Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, my next video for this time, it's the AK400 CPU air cooler from Deepcool. Now, I have done benchmarks, but what I will say, for £35, this is a fantastic buy. Continue to watch. Right, so, before we do the benchmark for you, this is what's included. It's included with AMD as well as Intel, and it comes with the standoff, and it comes with this um, Noctua-based mounting, which was very easy and simple. And this is what comes in the box, a little manual. You get this, and it includes thermal paste already applied on the, the air cooler. I wish a lot of brands would do the same. It would save me so much time rubbing off thermal paste. Uh, if it was pre-applied, it would be so much easier because I, I could just keep it consistent. Where instead, this had pre-applied. It was fantastic to use pre-applied thermal paste on a CPU cooler. From everyone I've had, it's the first one. So, we'll get into the benchmark. Let me load them up. Right, so, Cinebench R20, the idles are 30, the max was a 64 Celsius. Cinebench R23 was an idle of 30, max was 64. Now, Cinebench R20 and 23 were custom benchmarks. I uh, run uh, R20 for 3 minutes and R23 for 3 minutes, custom. Uh, 3D Mark CPU test, there was an idle of 31 and a max of 61. Blender BMW, idle was 31 Celsius, which well, I will say is a 4 minute render, it was a max of 63 Celsius, now classroom, Blender Classroom was idle at 28, it went down 2 degrees, and the max was 64, that finished in just over 10 minutes, and the total war idle was 31, which is a custom benchmark, with my custom battle scenes, for 10 minutes, the idle was a 31, the max was a 42. So, what we'll do is you can have a little look. Now, me personally, I like the look of the design. It's simple, it's effective, and for a CPU cooler, it was probably the easiest to install. I mean, I love the, the bracket, the one that's similar to Noctua's. I don't know why other brands don't use that kind of uh bracket because I find it so much easier it's better than just not including it now it does include another set of uh, clips so you could essentially buy another one of these fans and slip it on that side but that's where then their dual tower coolers come in handy so uh, my initial thoughts it's at max at the moment it is you can hear it but not as bad. There's a lot of air coolers I've done that is just ridiculously loud. And the performance, if I'm being honest, sucked. That is a, some of the thermal right air coolers I've had. Some of the performance with a higher RPM fan that sounded like a jet engine was even worse performance. This cooler is £35. It's basically in the range between this... Uh, between a, um, I think it's called a, v a Vi Vivo 5, I believe that's £20. Then this it, then you can get like the upper um, ARGB air coolers, they are like 25 and 30 Then there's the Be Quiet, the Shadow Rock 3. That is about £3 more than this on Amazon at this moment. And the Be Quiet and this, I will say, this beat it by like, one or two degrees in certain tests. Now the Cinebench and the uh, uh, Cinebench tests, I believe, from my, if I remember correct from my testings, the Shadow Rock was at sixty four, so they're around the same. But um, what I will say is, it's a nice cooler. I like the design. It's very clean. Uh, there's just nothing really to it. You just get a fan. You get clips. I like that the fan is pre-installed. Yeah, you do have to take the fan off to install it, but it's so simple 
and this is probably the easiest air cooler I've actually installed fans with because I'm not a fan of the clips. I find them annoying, especially on bigger coolers. Uh, I hope they send me out uh, next now, maybe one of their big tower coolers. Or I wouldn't mind actually looking at the dual, the dual tower version of this and some ARGB fans. The AIOs, I'm not really interested in looking at that this present time. Uh, because I've got some coming from Bits Power and stuff, so I'm kind of busy. But what I will say to Deep Cool is this is a fantastic little air cooler. I would recommend it, especially if you're on a budget. Uh, it's a fantastic price to performance, as you're probably aware, because a lot of people have said this is a fantastic cooler. But this is my first time ever actually having a deep in, deep down with a deep uh, deep cool cooler because I have tried co contacting them for ages but it finally got through so I'm quite lucky I'd like to say a big thank you to Mandy who sent it over I really do appreciate it I hope that this video performs well and that's pretty much it <laughs> um, I will say that for 35 quid it gets my stamp of approval if you want to buy it I will leave a link down below uh, I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow so, this is Rich from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.